Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Aircraft carriers are among the largest ships in the world. They typically have a flat, deck-like flight deck on top, where aircraft take off and land. Beneath the flight deck, there are multiple decks for hangar space, maintenance, living quarters, and various facilities. Take a look at the crazy safety systems the U.S. builds into its advanced billion dollar aircraft carriers today. Landing on an aircraft carrier is one of the most challenging and high risk maneuvers in aviation. It requires exceptional skill, precision, and split second decision making. First off, there's the weather. Because the carrier is constantly moving, which makes the landing area shift and pitch, life on an advanced aircraft can be particularly challenging during adverse weather conditions. Next, there are potential aircraft control issues. Landing a fast moving aircraft on a small moving deck requires exceptional control. Pilots must precisely align their aircraft with the deck while maintaining the correct approach angle and speed for a safe landing. On June 14, 2011, the USS Carl Vinson, a mighty aircraft carrier slicing through the azure waters of the Pacific Ocean, was about to engage in a crucial training exercise, a simulated crash on its flight deck. This drill, though staged, was a paramount test of the ship's crew their coordination, and their ability to respond swiftly and effectively to a high-stakes emergency. Fortunately, this drill was a success, but that's not always the case. Equally as important as crash training, though, is foam training. The massive aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln CVN-72 On April 7, 2021, this carrier surged through the sun-dappled waves of the open sea with a group to embark on another crucial mission. To put the ship's aqueous film-forming foam, a triple F system, to the test during a dynamic sea trial. Sailors activated the a triple F system, unleashing a powerful torrent of foam-laden water onto the deck. Mimicking the response to a potential aircraft or fuel fire on the flight deck. In addition, an aircraft carrier's crew must also be ready to face biochemical hazards. 
That's where sprinkler systems for countermeasure washdown come in. Specialized and strategically designed for naval vessels, these strong sprinklers rapidly and effectively decontaminate the ship's surfaces in the event of a chemical, biological, or radiological CBR threat. The craziest part is that these special sprinklers are designed to neutralize and remove hazardous substances from the ship's exterior, too. Even small bolts are problems on advanced aircraft carriers. This explains why the USS Boxer, LHD-4, conducted a foreign object debris walkdown, or FOD walk, aboard its vessel on June 2nd, 2016. In fact, FOD walks take place on a ship's deck to identify and remove any foreign objects or debris that could pose a risk to the safety and operation of the vessel, aircraft, and personnel. And then, there's the ship's electromagnetic aircraft launch system. On September 8, 2015, the USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, stood poised on the brink of technological advancement. Within its colossal hull, a groundbreaking trial unfolded. EMALS. Designed for the U.S. Navy's aircraft carrier, EMALS, it is a pioneering technology. Amazingly, EMALS employs electromagnetic fields to launch aircraft more efficiently and precisely than traditional steam catapults. Plus, EMALS aims to ensure reliable aircraft launches, accommodating various aircraft types and reducing wear on the carrier's structure. In short, EMALS enhances operational capabilities and readiness for the next generation of aircraft carriers. In August 2018, anticipation hung as the USS Abraham Lincoln became the testing ground for an innovative landing system. The Office of the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation, Op Tev4, orchestrated this moment. Floating on the open sea, a squadron of aircraft approached the carrier's deck. The new landing system, a culmination of advanced engineering, was put to the test. As pilots executed precision landings, the system's mechanisms came to life. Engineers scrutinized every detail, seeking confirmation of its efficiency in optimizing aircraft recovery. Standing as a testament to progress, the USS Abraham Lincoln exemplifies naval excellence. Aboard another aircraft carrier's deck, sailors buzzed during a resting gear training Under the vast expanse of the sky, aircraft roared overhead, mimicking actual landings. On the deck, 
Sailors meticulously tended to the arresting cables and mechanisms, honing their expertise. Meanwhile, a fighter jet thundered toward the deck, its tail hook poised. The deck shuddered momentarily, absorbing the immense energy. The arresting gear came to life, exerting powerful forces to halt the aircraft's momentum. This training, a testament to human skill and machinery, showed the carrier's commitment to safety and readiness. Luckily, this flawless landing under pressure was a great naval success. At NAS Pensacola, a dedicated team of skilled sailors embarked on a mission of precision and readiness. The impending annual gear certification loomed, and the arresting team was at the forefront of preparation. Incredibly, the team's efforts were a testament to their unwavering commitment. As fighter jets streaked across the sky, the team visualized the imminent challenge. This certification, a pillar of naval aviation, proved their prowess in safely halting aircraft. Poised to ensure the carrier's operational excellence, this arresting team is a symphony of expertise. On June 12, 2023, sailors from the USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 worked in the ship's machine shop. Their dedication reverberated within the heart of the Navy's newest and most advanced carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford. A testament to a new era in naval supremacy, This vessel embodies a seismic shift in the U.S. Navy's global power projection capabilities. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, GRF CSG, stood poised fulfilling its mission to deploy to Europe's area of operations. Under the banner of the U.S. 6th Fleet, this deployment safeguards U.S., allied, and partner interests. On USS Carl Vinson, a group of dedicated aviation bosun mates, ABs, performs an essential maintenance task. Their attention is focused on the arresting gear, a complex system that plays a pivotal role in the carrier's flight operations. With precision and expertise, these ABs inspect, adjust, and fine-tune the gear's arresting cables. Crucial for operational readiness, this maintenance is standard on expensive vessels like Vinson. Not only do sailors inspect and adjust vital mechanisms, but they also guarantee safe aircraft landings on carriers. By performing these critical checks, the crew of this Nimitz-class carrier ensures it can halt landing aircraft. On May 3rd, 2019, the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier USS Harry S. Truman, CVN-75, orchestrated a symphony of aerial operations. Cutting through the waves, the carrier's catapult officers exemplified naval precision. 
The stage was set for the Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group, HST CSG, to shine as a beacon of readiness. Safeguarding against COVID-19 risks, the strike group remained at sea in the Atlantic. After navigating the challenges of deployment to the U.S. 5th and 6th Fleet Regions, USS Truman stands certified and poised for any mission. Operating under U.S. 2nd Fleet's watchful eye, HST CSG is always ready. Just like backstage magicians, the crew behind military aircraft carriers work behind the scenes to keep ships afloat. They keep the carrier strong, safe, and ready to help our military keep its civilians safe. At the end of the day, these crazy safety systems are our most effective defense system. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.